Before we begin, let me just warn the audience that the pictures that you're about to see are quite graphic. It's important to show exactly what we're talking about here. So the first clip, please. It had a face. It wasn't completely torn up. And its nose was very pronounced. It's, it had eyelids. And its mouth was pronounced. And then since the fetus was so, so intact, she said, okay, well, this is a really good fetus and it looks like we can procure a lot from it. Um, we're gonna procure brain. So, I, the moment I hear something, like, that means we're gonna have to cut the head open. We're gonna have to cut the head open. So, it's like, okay, so what you do is you go through the face. I'm thinking, no, I don't wanna do this. And she takes the scissors and she makes a small incision right here and goes, I would say, to maybe a little bit through the mouth. She's like, okay, can you go the rest of the way? And I'm like, yes. Yeah, that, let me read those words in case you couldn't hear them. It had a face. It wasn't completely torn up. Its nose was very pronounced. It had eyelids. Since the fetus was so intact, she said, okay, well, this is a really good fetus, and it looks like we can procure a lot from it. We're going to procure a brain. That means we're going to have to cut the head open. She takes the scissors, she makes a small incision right here, and goes, I would say, maybe a little bit through the mouth. And she's like, okay, can you go the rest of the way? And so she gave me the scissors and told me that I had to cut down the middle of the face, and I can't even describe what that feels like, end quote. That's the whistleblower. Next clip. Is this a, for example, Mr. Like Chairman, I have to object to this. We don't have yeah, any I, I context to what for this. We, what we understand from all of the investigations is that these are manufactured videos, highly edited, selective, and I would object and say you need to run these by the minority to, so that we can provide some context. Yeah, livers. Yeah. I mean, that's easy. I don't know what they're doing with it. They want muscle. Yeah. All right. Now, that's the second video. And Dr. Nukatola, the uh, senior director of the uh, Planned Parenthood Medical Services, says we have been very good at getting heart, lung, liver, because we know that. I'm not going to crush that part. I'm going to basically crush below. Mr. Chairman, point of order. I'm going to Mr. crush Mr. Chairman, above. point of order. When I finish. I'm on my time, please. I'm raising a point and, of order, Mr. Chairman. And I'm going to prevent to you from going further. That, Did you rule on the gentlelady's objection just state, a moment ago? Would you please state your point of order? Did you rule on the gentlelady from Florida's objection a moment ago? I did not. Would you please make a ruling for the record? She did not state her point of order. Reclaiming my time. Reclaiming my time. And so it says I'm going to crush above. I'm going to see if I can get it all intact. I would say a lot of people want liver, and for that reason, most providers will do this case under ultrasound guidance so that they will know where they're putting their forceps, end quote. All right, the final clip. exactly what we needed and I kind of looked at the list and I said all right this 17 weeker has eight plans and this and so I knew which were the cases that were probably more likely to heal what we needed uh -huh. and I made my decisions according to that too so it's worth having a huddle at the beginning of the day uh -huh. and that's what I do I, I don't think other providers do that but right. I actually like being involved in the process so I say okay what are your what are you looking to supply today and I look at the list and I say well you know, all these cases, they only have three lemon area. I wouldn't hold your breath for that. I think I might be able to get it for this case. I think I might be able to get it for that case. There, you know, what else can we do? But it, it's worth having that conversation. That's why I say the providers are important. Yeah. You know, most of the conversations you're going to... 
All right, this is the clip of the unedited conversation, which Dr. Nukatola explains how she plans her day, the procedures around the baby's organs she would like to maintain intact as she plans her day. These babies are not different than anyone else of us, and yet it, it frankly gives me chills to think about how someone could even think about removing their organs. And so these clips have shown the gruesome reality we're talking about. They're available in the public domain. None of us can forget the images and words that we see when we look at these and the blatant disregard for human life. And no organization, especially one that receives millions of dollars from the federal government, should be able to participate in such horrific actions. That's why we're here today, and that's why we're going to act. Chair now recognize the ranking member, Mr. Green, five minutes for his question.